All right, everybody. As you can see, I have my Pioneer head unit here. It's got a nice uh, bright blue color to it and uh, my Stinger voltage meter, truck is off by the way, um, matches it. So it's a pretty good match. Uh, I like the color and it goes with the color scheme of my blue truck. And uh, now I'm going to turn on my headlights and you'll see the problem that I'm having. It doesn't match at all and it looks like shit. So we got a way to fix that and uh, the way to do that is to take out this cluster and that'll be the first step of getting this uh, on the way. Alright, now I'm not going to go too into detail on how to do this conversion. But the first thing is, all you got to do is just pop off the, the plastic panel, which is just some clips, and it pulls right off. And then to get into the gauges, it's just four 7mm bolts, two on each side. And then it'll pull right out. So I'm going to put my flashlight down. Hopefully, you guys, this camera will adjust. And it doesn't really matter. And then this thing just simply pulls all right out as one unit. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to get this thing out and upstairs. And, uh, fucking hazards turned on. Upstairs and get the LEDs put in. Alright guys, I'm in my new house, my girl's playing Xbox with uh, her brother so it's kind of loud out there. So I'm going to show you how to do these bulbs. There's six of them as I just pointed out and uh, all they do is you just pull and it unplugs from the socket and then the LED just pushes right in and that's as easy as it is to replace the bulb. And then you just twist it into the back. So let's go see what this thing looks like lit up. All right, fellas, here it is. Here's the voltage I run at when it's cold outside. Pretty good, but it's gonna be better soon. That's the only hint I'm given. Um, gauges are in, looking great. I can make them brighter or turn them down. Still works, which is great. So it's looking great in here. I'm liking it a lot. Um, I'm still going to get the LEDs for the light switch over here and the heater controls. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the shifter. I might be doing some little project down there that'll be eliminating that since I don't even have four wheel drive anymore from uh, the process of lowering the Tahoe. So all the gauges are going to be blue up here, blue LEDs, and it's looking good so far. I'm liking it a lot. It's matching the color scheme of the truck. So. I should give you guys a little update when the LEDs come in for the heater controls and for the light switch. Peace out, guys. All right, guys. If you liked what you seen in that video, um, I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this video to uh, the person on YouTube where I found out how to do this, and uh, he helped me out. And maybe if you want to do it, he can help you out too. I'm going to post some information at the end of this video and uh, let you guys know how to do it to the best of my knowledge and uh, that's about it so he's got a Chevy Tahoe same style as mine four door real clean so check him out guys okay all right uh, I'm, on, I'm gonna go in John's room and wake him up hey what are you doing here get out of here this is me and Justin's time hey Gail. yeah I like that Christmas present. Bye. Bye. Did you have it recorded? It said.